Do you want to increase your speed of doing your takeoff in Costex? So this video is for you. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Naresh Punia. I'm a project quantity surveyor at Acom in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. And in today's video, we are going to talk about how you can increase your speed of doing takeoff in Costex. So if you are new to Costex, I have already made some videos on Costex. It will be linked somewhere here. You can go and check that out. You can also check out those videos by looking at my Costex playlist. With that out of the way, let me take you to the computer screen to show you how it is done. So I've opened the Costex and I've uploaded the two drawings. One is the guest house plan and another is electrical drawing. Here I'll be talking about three measurements that you can do quickly. First is the area measurement. Then we'll go on to the length measurement and then we'll talk about the count measurement and how you can do that quickly. So let's move on to the area measurement. We'll go to the guest house plan drawing and here we are assuming that this is going to be our flooring schedule because I'm working on a confidential project. I cannot share detail of my project. This is the drawing that I found online. So we have to make some assumption. We are assuming that this is the area schedule drawing. So we'll um, consider that all of these area will have tile flooring and we are going to do the measurement. So traditionally how we do the measurement, we'll use either the point mode and we do the measurement like this selecting all the points and press enter and to make it look easier I'll just change the font of this to orange so that you can see which is the area so this is one way of doing it I'll just select and delete this uh, dimension now another way of doing the area measurement is by using the line mode so you use the line mode like this, then you go here, then you go here, then you go here. And once you press enter, then you get the area of this block, right? Now I'm going to delete that. Now the fastest way to measure the area is by using the shift key. So you use the shift key, then you hover over the area that you want to measure. And then you just left click. Done. Done. I'm just holding the shift key and then pressing the left key of my mouse and this is this is done 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 this is also done done now here i'm not getting the exact exact area so i'll select here and then while selecting here i'll press the control so i get the whole area as one area then i select here then i select here select here select here select here, select here. Select here, select here, select here, here, we are not quite getting the area by using the shift key. So we'll just keep it as it is and keep it as it is. So now if you see, we just could not find the area of two blocks, but other than that, we got the area of all the other blocks. Now this would have taken a lot of time for you if you would have used the point mode or line mode. So this is the way you can do the area measurement more quickly, right? Now let's move to the length measurement. We are measuring the wall plaster, external wall plaster. And generally what we do, we use the line mode, like we do this, then we do this, then we do this, this, something like that. And we can also use the point mode and we do it like this from here to here. It is more troublesome. Then we press control and we select it and we go here and we press control and we go something like that, right? But the problem with this is you'll get segments of light. It is slower and there are chances that you make a few mistakes. The easier way to do it is to do it in line mode. But once you get your first measurement, after that, you just press control and you keep on doing your measurements like this, 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 and you're done. Now the benefit you have by doing the measurement by pressing control is I'll show you. Now you select an area and you try to edit control. You see this whole thing is one line. It's not segments. So this helps you to do the measurement more quickly and more efficiently. Now let's move on to the count measurement. So for the count measurement, we are going to measure the light, ceiling light and ceiling fan, right? In the same drawing. So first let's move on to do the ceiling light. 
so if you see the ceiling light is this symbol this legend so we'll go and find this legend this is the legend now we'll just press shift so now we can see that this is a block in the autocad drawing it is made as a block so once we have a block we just use this functionality of uh, quick select by using shift and control once we do shift and control all of the similar block will be highlighted and we just press the left button once we did it this 75 measurements will be selected at once so you don't have to go to each drawing and just press point measurement or line measurement by counting each and every one of it you just need to be aware of one thing that it will also highlight the ceiling light legend so you just have to remove it you just go to here delete dimension delete selected dimension and you have 74 ceiling lights now for ceiling fan we use a different method what method we'll be using we'll be using auto count how we do auto count we'll go to auto count and we can capture it but if i capture it here it will not give me all the search so what i can do i can go to layer i can select this layer and i can just invert this layer so i'll just have the ceiling fan layer i'll come back to drawings i'll come back to dimension group i'll select the ceiling fan now what i'll do i'll go to auto count i have to capture and then i'll select this done now i'll just search it it will quickly find it and if you see it has selected at least 80 percent of the dimension i just click here save accepted and 29 of these counts are done now i'll just do this 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 and this 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 sorry this is probably uh, this is probably the legend so i'll just remove it this and this so now i think we have saved considerable amount of time if you would have done manually all the measurements so these are the two ways you can do the auto count so this was a little something about how you can increase your speed of doing measurements in cost i hope you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video